Oh, we're live, so you can do whatever you want. Oh, we're live, yeah. That dude. went so, live you know really what? fast. It did. So all the Very other times fast. I've ever done that, oh, it, it like spooled for 10 seconds, we're and then yeah. we had... I mean, I didn't even have time to zip my fly. I mean, it's been... Oh, crap. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Figure Action. <laughs> Thank you, Dave. Bunch of professionals here. As much as we always are. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Figure Action, episode 55, How the Cookie Crumbled. You know that because we have it at the bottom of the screen because we're using fancy new software that we've used the past few weeks, and we really like it. As you can see, we're a few uh, guys short of a hole here because uh, they're gone. Uh, one is on a business trip, and the other is MIA. We assume he's sleeping. So, so we're uh, taking auditions. So, so T Man may join us eventually. Um, oh, don't count on it. I, I, he he might be sleeping soundly. He works hard reviewing toys and going to work and then coming home and te texting us about the toys that he's going to review. Anyway, he's hibernating. He's 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 um he doesn't just take little cat naps. No, but do you know that when bears hibernate, they, they plug their butt up? Do you think that's happened? He probably did. If if anyone's seen T-Man wandering around Baltimore, like, eating a bunch of, like, pine cones and shit. Um, <laughs> Grazing on the grass. He probably whatever. have called the cops. Uh, if he's walking around Baltimore doing that, no one is going to bat a fucking eye. Are there even <laughs> pine cones in Baltimore, though? Yeah, but they're brought in by the pine cone lady. Oh, okay. The crazy pine cone lady. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Figure Action. My name is Matt Parts, former. Uh, it's just the three of us. Uh, we're going to start over again. Uh, joining us tonight is that direction, Mr. Joe Crow. Hi. My name's Joe. And unfortunately, I don't have a haul, except for this most amazing t-shirt ever made, Dinobots Before Time. Here, let me zoom in on that, because that is fantastic. Ah. Yeah. <clears throat> That's all I got. Hopefully, nothing horrible will happen to any of the voice actors. They'll all be just fine, just like the characters. Oh, Dave. Just, just why like the characters' mother. Why'd you have to drag up that memory? That's that's a that is a fact that got buried away, and now you just brought it back up to the surface. Yep, yep. If I had feelings, <laughs> I'd be a, a I'd be a little verklempt. But that's true. Do you can you recognize when you should be having a feeling? There's some kind of like signal that i just ignore okay so so you know it's supposed to be there it's like it's like mr data when his emotion you can turn your emotion chip well you're not able to turn it on per se but you recognize the gaps where there should yeah, be an uh, emotional filler i just like uh super glued the the button to off okay yeah good to know so there's your haul also joining us is Mr. Dave, true star screamer, got game with a massive uh, ego. I almost said attitude, but well, you got that too. Hi, Dave. How'd you get this ego of yours? Um, well, you I, I show you, but thing in his hall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do we want to get into that story now, or do you want to wait till later on this? Well, run th run through your hall, and we'll cycle back. Um, do you have anything? Uh, did I show Baraka last week? Yes, you did. Yes. Then I have no haul. Bunch of losers we are. How about that story? Well, um, what? So is that the super? Okay, this is like, I'm still wrapping my brain around this. I mean. How much you love your wife? I am. <laughs> I, I do love my wife. Absolutely. But uh, I am 40. I am 40. I am 40 years old. I am about 215 pounds, and I am just under five foot six with lots of gray hair, okay? I am not exactly Joe Crab, if you know what I'm saying here. Come on. And I'm definitely not a parts former, but um, I am sitting at uh, my Lowe's Food local Lowe's food, which is an awesome supermarket because they have what's called a beer den. So I can sit there and get a growler of beer filled. That's where I get a lot of, get a lot of my uh, local brew. That's what I would be excited about. But keep going. And I'm there. You froze. Yeah, if you're talking, Dave, we can't hear you. <laughs> Sorry, I shocked you into bad internet connection. Okay, so we'll give uh, 
<laughs> we'll give Dave time to recover. I'll tell you what, while Dave's getting his uh, connection sorted, uh, I'll do my haul real quick. I actually had a really, really good week when it comes to hauls. And I will, won't be around the bush. I'm one of the lucky ones that managed to grab my Bandai Solo Chugokin Voltron, which for anybody that's listened to the show for any amount of time knows that that is the grail of my collection. That's the one piece that I have been striving for since I started seriously collecting. I am so happy to have it and it lives up to the hype. And I know it's got like, it's got slightly dated articulation here and there maybe um, <laughs> with a picture of my son. That's lovely. <laughs> the, the comments, the, the comment wholesome, matches. Wholesome family. Um, anyway, I, I'm so happy to have it. It's, it's beautiful. I am afraid to touch it to get fingerprints on it, but I have to touch it because it has to be played with. And there are many things that, that fall into that description. Um, uh, let me see. Two other th- and I won't, I won't gush about it. You all know it. You guys can watch Team Man's review of it. It's an amazing piece. But I, it over to my house so I, I, will, I will bring it over to your house. Yes. Sweet. Um, two other things I got, and we'll get right back to Dave's story. I ended up – so I, I, if you guys remember, I ended up getting the uh, Ocular Max Jaguar uh, last week. And – that's now got me with the fever for the tapes and I got the condors this week and I had offered these guys to buy the pack of the two pack of condors. Cause you get both, you get both laser beak and buzzsaw. And I said, guys, do you want somebody want to split the pack with me? You know, split the price, split the pack. And you know, one of you guys could get a, a buzzsaw for 40 bucks. No one bit. So I ended up getting them anyway because I wanted them. And now I'm glad I've got both of them because I love them. And I'll bring these next time I'm over too because these things are phenomenal. I love these guys. Lastly is that I'm now in the Android 21 business. So now everyone on the show has Android 21, I believe, except uh, Jordan who doesn't collect them. And Joe owns one. He just hasn't actually been able to fondle his yet because it's still in my possession. Allegedly, I have one, but not in my possession. So again, I don't collect DBZ. Else. Let me let me ask. The thought, audience. Oh, you're right. Sorry, I want to engage right. the audience real quick, Dave, and then we're gonna get to your story. So Matt has my Android 21 because he was cool enough while I was on vacation to order it for me. He got it shipped to his house. Now he lives about a half hour away from me. Is that right? If Maybe that, I'd say, I'd say club 25, 25. Twice, twice, folks, this past weekend, he drove to my town where I live. He was maybe five minutes away from my house. Ten minutes, and I was at my parents' oh, house meeting right. them. It was the right. same Your town. town is ten minutes from my parents' house. All right, let's say it's ten minutes. Both times, he, he apparently texted me, but I was busy working on my deck because I was being a man. And I was building things with my hands. And I didn't see the text messages. But both times, he could have just drove it over to my house. And he could have just said, hey, surprise. Here I am. I know you've been working hard. Here's your figure. Look. look, Here's your little pink lady. There's two sides to every story, okay? Is there? Is there? So, that's true. I brought the figure more than halfway to Joe's house, okay? 90% of the way. My wife and I were going to have a, a date night over the weekend, so my parents were going to watch my son. So we drove him over Saturday to drop him off. Now, we're going to have a date night, so I'm not going to drive to his place out of the, in the opposite direction of where we're going to drop off this figure. And when he says that I texted him that I had it, he I actually texted him like eight times with pictures of it and our progress and how long we were there. And I was totally ignored. The entire time. You didn't even check your messages. You were just you just took your phone and you fucking chucked it over the side of your your deck. Focused. I was one with the deck. I was using power tools and shit. Yep. Yep. And you traded it with your deck. Yep. (laughs) Yep. Worked just just furiously working on your deck. But I wanted to know, I want to know what our audience thinks about this. What woodworking. Would would you guys have just can we do a poll? We should be able to do that. How come we can't do polls? Yeah, hold on. Let me get it set up. You tell them, tell them what the poll is going to be. So would you guys, if you drove it 20 minutes, 25 minutes, would you have gone the extra 5 to 10 minutes and be an above and beyond friend? 
Like you already were. A good if you friend. can't bother to get your hands off handling your wood while the man's got his figure, I'd say sorry. Um, Matt's in the right. I, I'll have you know it was synthetic wood. Thank you. It wasn't okay. even real wood. All right, guys. I'm gonna put up. A That's poll. what she said. I'm gonna put up a poll. There's 12 <laughs> of you watching right now. I'm gonna put up a poll. Everybody cast their vote. Um, you're either gonna vote Matt was right or Joe was right. All right. Where is the said poll. Hold on. All right. It's up. So go By ahead. By the way, if there's 12 people in that room, I want to see 12 likes down there. Or more. Go go tell your friends. Go tell go go tell your 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 family. Just All right. tell that. Voting's done. Oh. God. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, so, this is so, so not the a results real are fair, fairly clear on this one that I was a really good friend and Joe was an A number 1 douchebag. <laughs> Oh, so Lord. well that was that was a good so story. that led some hot air into that so so long story short joe will probably get his pink lady probably saturday maybe so, maybe saturday maybe. oh for god's sakes i hate my internet all right joe while you, or, or, all right dave while you've got good internet please pick up your story please let the internet go. hold on this time um so there i am Sitting at the bar, wearing this shirt, which, as you can see, shows off my masculine form oh so well. And this woman sits, up, sits next to me. She gets a beer at the beer den. And she goes, do you mind if I talk? And I said, yeah, not at all. And I swear to God, I thought my wife was setting me a damn trap. Because I, if this was like, if someone gave my, if someone's told, sent a, like a, a, some site sent my wife saying, what kind of woman do you think would allure your man away? Please fill out a checklist here. And God damn it, this woman was like every single thing. So, do you ever watch Firefly? Oh, yeah. Do you play, I mean, I, have, yeah. have you ever played role playing games? We're currently <laughs> playing a Fallout role playing game at our house. Did you know I can right now my with my diet restrictions I can only cook grilled meats. That's what she said to you. Of all people, she that's actually what she said, to you? said that to me. Like just she as part of the conversation talking about grilled meat over a beer. To me, after talking about how she was into Firefly, and um, what else was there? Oh, really into. 70s glam rock music uh, really likes David Bowie um, have you ever heard of the talking I mean it's just like a, I'm sitting here going like is there a freaking detective like scoping like, me out Chris Hansen wasn't like you know kind of hiding it, behind the corner it felt like that and then I said that okay I gotta go up and finish my grocery shopping oh can I walk with you uh, sure I mean I'm not gonna be like a it's like no sit your ass down and we're sitting there, small talk. Okay, I got to go. Fine, thanks. Oh, by the way, you know, you're fun to talk with. Can I get your number? And I'm like, <laughs> um, no, that wouldn't be right. And she's like, oh, so you find me pretty? I'm like, it's like, well, I am married. <laughs> she said that to me. All right, I could absolutely see why you thought you'd be, you were set up. Absolutely. I am, I, I am with you 110%. And, as as, and then she then goes, well, can I at least get, like, maybe no one can chat or something? I'm like, no, that's not going to happen. And then I get in my car, and then I just I pull up my phone. I text Megan. I said, did you set my ass up? I, I just think like, I don't care. I just need to know, did you set me up? And she's like, what do you mean? And right now, she's, like, trying to find who this girl is. Hmm. So, so how it, close it, it was really? The most... She had you at the word meat. Or firefly. It was like, dude. It was like, it, it was like freaking uncanny, and it's either either my wife set me up, or there is a god, and he decided to dangle something in front of me a temptation, and I felt like uh, what, what was her what was her name in uh, Lord of the Rings? You know, I've passed the test, and yeah. now I shall diminish. I thought you were gonna go with the uh, firefly reference of Anara, like. No, I was more your, going with your, the, your companion. Your perfect companion was presented. No, I have to my you. perfect companion. That your, would be my okay, wife now. Okay, yes, your 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 non 
married. Yes, your non-wife perfect companion. Dude, I don't sportimus. I don't care. I, I think somewhere out there is that th- this girl is sitting at her at her home, talking to her friend, her husband, or her girlfriends, wherever, saying like she like, oh, I made this guy feel special or something. I think she's laughing her ass off at me. And you might be watching you know what? the show right now. I <clears throat> maybe she's a stalker. I don't know, but you know what? I might not have gotten the Power Rangers two pack from SDCC, which. Um, you know, Night Wingham was very good about keeping reminding me about it, but I got that story. And I'm so if to she it. had said something along the lines of, hey, I just picked up the entire newest Marvel Legends wave. You want to come back and unbox them with me? You want to do an <laughs> unboxing? <laughs> you want to see my, you know you see my case back? Re- By the way, Winston, yeah, there's a reason I told my wife that. Because if my wife was setting my ass up, I did the right thing. That's, he covered all his bases. <laughs> I covered. I, I, I was a, I swear, she wanted to get a hug when it was all said and done. And I did the Keanu Reeves hug. If you've ever seen him at a convention, you know, he always, like, just touch, doesn't even put his hands around him. And so, how old do you think she was, approximately, if you had to, to guess? Ball. Oh, no, she told me. She was 28. 28. So at no point you didn't think that you were like, like this was like the Truman Show. And <clears throat> maybe. No, no, I did think that. That was what I'm saying. The whole time, I'm like, where the fuck is the camera? You should have just started yelling, I love my wife. I love my wife. And just <laughs> run out of the store. <laughs> Girls are the devil. <laughs> <laughs> she showed me uh, her movies and I like those too. Although this is this is the truth that we have probably like a chat full of guys that that would probably like that conversation and and probably one or number so they, yeah I think you could have knew guys would have gone another way if with you knew my wife and somehow this was a chat my boys would be at the other end of this <laughs> that's all I can say but you know but you did good you passed the test. Why, why would that As I be? said, I passed the test. Yeah. And I know my wife will watch the show later, so I love my wife. <laughs> and you, you, and you, apparently, you, I, I, good, we definitely good. have to have the impromptu panel at TFCon of us live casting for my own safety. Oh, we'll do that. You know, so. this is what, at a grocery store? Was it a grocery store that has like... Um, he said that has beer. That, well, if they have beer, then they have a pharmacy, right? There's a pharmacy at this grocery store. Yeah. If you have a bit, if you wanted to get rid of this chick, all you had to do was just ask her, like, where do I find, you know, uh, like some kind of ointment, maybe something embarrassing. <laughs> um, where are your extra, extra, extra small condoms? No. <laughs> <laughs> now all right what do we have on the agenda tonight guys so so dave almost had an epic haul but he decided to be a good guy and, and <laughs> are you crazy i would have lost he, half he, of this he, he, he left, lost half left it on the shelf I, <laughs> I kept the house i kept the wife i kept the kid you did very well for yourself <laughs> <laughs> anywho let's move on I'm going to bring up our topics list because I shut it off and I don't remember what we're talking about. Well, apparently there's something going on about a cookie monster. So let's talk about HasLab, shall we? It is not infallible. It isn't. It is not um, too big to fail. It is, though, isn't it? I mean, I guess I guess the cookie crumbled, but they knew there was no, there was no way that was going to happen because it wasn't even into 100 – a hundred people backing it, if I if I remember correct. <laughs> <laughs> did you have that ready? I did. I had that ready. So oh, the cookie, so the, the Haslab cookie monster failed. It, it 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 expired. It only had so many. Uh, I don't even remember. It only had so many backers. It wasn't nearly enough. And that was after the barge was successful. The Star Wars Jabba's barge. Um, had this surge at the end and was backed at the last minute and it went through where the cookie monster failed miserably. 
Uh, enter in ah. the Chaos Bringer. That well, hold on. Break oh, go ahead. I don't think they had faith in Cookie Monster because if you remember at SDCC, he was like stuck in a corner. They like had him on a staircase, and that was it. He never got any prominence at all. So then, why bother? You know what I mean? Like, why bother putting the time in and and going through all that if you're not even going to really try? I don't. I don't get that. I think. I think Joe from development owed some, but had a favor owed to him and he made the prototype and they just Not ran with you, it. Joe crab. And he's like, he made the prototype and they're like, we should make this. People aren't going to like that, but people are going to, people are going to love this. Joe. No, it's not going to happen. Dude, you don't understand. It's cookie monster. Okay. How about this, Joe? We'll put it on the has lab. We shut up. Okay. And Joe shut up. That could be, that could be, why do I need to shut up? Not you, Joe. Just the other. Because you're wearing super stylish glasses this evening. That's why. And don't think we didn't notice there, Sailor. We noticed. Anyway, Unicron now. Unicron, I will give it to him. So they over the, the last two days they dumped in all of the. It, it seems like they dumped in all of the third party site orders because it jumped. It was riding about what mid two thousands most of the month. Well, most of the last week. And then shit leapt into the 5,000s, and it, or four, like upper fours, and it started climbing by like, I think it was averaging 10, 10 every few minutes, and it was just jumping. And I think it's the Galvatron. The Galvatron set it up. That Galvatron is total bullshit. <laughs> um, so the breaking news before the show started is that HasLab sent out an email that they said, hey, good news, everybody. Our totally random arbitrary date that we set for this crowdfund is pushed back so you guys got more time which i think is the good move to do so they actually pushed it out more than a month they pushed it out 35 days i think so it's going to the end of october 38 more days you have and it's currently at 5690 if i can see that right uh so, it's five, over the halfway point so i since it's over the halfway point i think It'll push itself in a couple weeks over the three quarters. I think this is going to get funded. I think the head popping off gimmick probably sold a few. That mini Galvatron. I hope. I hope nobody was waiting. They had their five, their six hundred dollars plus in hand, and said, "I hope there's a shitty little Galvatron that comes with this guy." And then they announced it and showed pictures, and they were like, "Oh!" And they blew their wallet all over it. I don't think that's what happened. Now they do have a gimmick also where you can swap there that you can swap out his chin to have a cartoon accurate chin on him. Um, that I think probably helped a lot of people make a decision that didn't like the aesthetic of the face. Um, there's still the color scheme though. Like the color's not right. He should the, be orangier. He should be orangier. You're right. It, it's just not a deep enough, almost burnt. It's just, I don't know. They're I don't know saying, why they went for that. That aesthetic what you're choice. saying is it just needs more Trump. It like, needs- uh, yeah. And just after he came out of the tanning booth, like not later when he needs to be re-upped, but, but just when it happened. Now, I guess it he may not be a to- booth. It could be spray. I don't know. He needs to be the color of wheelie. I kid you not. That's the yeah. exact, t- 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 that's that orange you need. Yep. You're right. Um, yeah, look at that. I just know. Scroll up, go up. Scroll back up. Scroll back up. Up. Stop. Down. There. There's your color. Actually, I would say even that's too yellow. Yeah, I think the only reason this looks darker is because you're seeing more of the texture in it, but this yeah. is... But- and then they, they released that fo- that actual transformation video where they showed all the panels and the folding and all that. And I I saw some reaction on TFW where people were talking about how panel-y he was. And I'm like, fucking of course. Like, the, the, panels, the panels aren't removable. At least at last anybody said from HasLab that the panels are all bolted securely on one way or the other. So you're stuck with the panels. You've got to make peace with the panels. And then, of course, this giant sphere has got to fold up and get on this robot's back or out of the way. And that's what you're going to have. So we saw the transformation video. I mean, surprise, surprise. All he is is folded up inside of a sphere. That's not really a big, you know, big reveal to anybody. 
And I just think I think this extra 38 days is going to do it. I think it's going to happen no matter what. I think it's going to they're going to wait till they get to that 8000 mark and they're going to click go and we're we're going to get it. Now, do either of you guys did you guys back it? I did not. I did not. I did not. No. I am. I have not. I have. I'm still seriously considering it. Mm. So it's like I have no place in this room for it. So that's. I think it's a price. the money. I've, it's not even the price. I have no place for it. Even if I could afford it, I have no place for it. So. Well, yeah, it's definitely a size thing too. But I think if the price was like, I think if it was four hundred ish, it already would have been funded. 450 when something's close to 600 bucks man that's a that's, that's a tough pill to swallow yeah that's a lot of money but i mean look, i mean the, maybe the if you like can afford a tesla or something maybe but you know wow, that's not like, for my mazda ass i ain't i can't afford this toy i just i don't know there's a bit of a premium Feature to this, right? Because if we go by the sale barge as the as the the, the linchpin, the benchmark, the backers of the sale barge not only got updates constantly via email, YouTube videos, and all, which I guess everybody can see, but they also eventually got like a some kind of like commemorative pin, and they got what looked to be a really nice making of like full book, like like a bound actual book catalog the journey of making the the sail barge which, which again is, is awesome. not which is awesome something that you'd probably price at around 20 bucks you know give or take um so is that really part of the price at least it makes you feel like you're getting something for your money and they didn't just forget you right oh you get you get the vip treatment from them absolutely that's, right. that's a good way of putting it you are getting you're 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 putting your money up front for something that's not going to come out for almost two years and they're going to make sure that you feel like you're getting your money's worth, even though you may not be. They might be producing this thing at $200 a pop or whatever. I have no clue. What I do know is they're not going to get the mass retail release of him. So they're not going to get their return on, on a mass investment because people are comparing the size and mass of this thing to a leader or to a, uh, a Titan class. And they're saying it's not that much. It's not $600 to a Titan. How much is a Titan class, Dave? Um, about 135, 150. Okay. Say 150, say 175 at import. Or before whatever. it goes yeah. to Ollie's. Yeah. Before the pre Ollie's <laughs> price. Yeah. So people are saying it's not a three or $400 boost in compared to a Titan class, but that's again, Titan class goes out to mass retail. You can pick it up off the shelf usually, or it's available, you know, at no, you'll have no problem finding your trip to con Metroplex or whatever. And this thing is though I never saw a Predaking in a store, but they were out there, right? I mean, if you really wanted one, you could track one down. Yeah, you might pay a little bit on shipping or whatever, but you're paying shipping on this thing too. So I think in this state, I worked it up that it was going to be six hundred and seventeen dollars ish, something six hundred twenty dollars. Well, let's actually talk about that. So when we had. Fort Max, when we had Metroplex, when we had Predaking, well, Toys R Us was still in existence. Right. And that's where you saw a lot of them. Toys R Us probably guaranteed to buy a certain number of units for a wholesale price. Mm -hmm. You never saw a Metroplex at a Walmart. You never saw a Trypticon at a Walmart. Correct? I never I never did. I you never heard of seeing one there. No. So that means there was never a mass retail buyer for those to get that wholesale price. You know? But the level of production I'm saying, so, the numbers are probably closer to a mass release than because they they had to have some inventory to send to Ollie's. Right, but at the well, Ollie's bought the closed out Toys R Us's. Ollie's bought those; they were already pre-bought. So, um, so right now there may not Hasbro's, be a venue to release these. Kind Hasbro of is putting their own perceived retail markup on it, basically. When does this That's come? That's how out? I see it. Um, is it in fact? 
uh, if it gets back, it releases early 2021. Hmm. So let's segue into how the whole Chinese trade war tariff situation would affect this if they back it. And it doesn't come out. I think out. actually has. Well, they've didn't said. Didn't Hasbro move a lot of their facilities to Vietnam? Uh, I can know. say with certainty that I don't know. I'm, the, I'm not intelligent. I'm not, do, I'm not up on this, so I don't I know. I do know there is a statement from Hasbro CEO that said basically that, yes, this whole Chinese trade war and the tariffs is affecting them. They don't want to raise prices to their customers, but. <laughs> anymore <laughs> but if it gets like december i think it's like middle of december's when supposedly a lot of these a lot more tariffs are supposed to hit and it's going to start hitting like imports of toys and stuff like that they didn't want to do it now because they don't want to completely screw the holiday season but if they do if they're all of a sudden hit with 10 i mean who knows 15 percent tariffs they might end up putting this thing out and losing money. Great. The tariffs are killing Christmas. Let me look up his exact quote. He said, we certainly want to ensure that we're not raising prices on products right before the holidays. We would hope we would continue to have a productive dialogue, find other solutions to the situation. But then he said, if there were tariffs that were employed, we would then need to raise our prices as we are the importer. The tariff is applied to the product that is imported into the United States. We would then need to raise our prices. We're engaged with our retailers working through all of that. 15%. Yeah. Yeah, they're not, they're not going to take the hit. No. they got. Do you think this is going to affect also the third-party market, like Show Z, for example? I was thinking about that because... A lot of this stuff comes in from China, and I'm wondering, like, how that, like, when we're going to see, it'd be kind of interesting to see if, like, um, maybe in the next three to four months, if we actually can see that 10 to 15% price hike. Hmm. But then, see, we're talking about it now. I can guarantee when it, when and if and when it actually happens, people will be like, <gasps> "We no one saw this coming. Why weren't we told?" You know? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Guess what? What is t today? Is September 29th? I'm sorry, August 29th, 2019. It is currently 9:35 Eastern Standard Time, and at least 12 of you have been told. <laughs> 15 now, actually. So, thank you, three more. How are those, how are those thumbs up looking? How are those thumbs up looking? People? I don't know. I, I'm going to assume everybody knows what to do on YouTube by now. I'm, I'm sure though. I'm sure they'll get around to it. And, and yes, you're right. The, uh, wait a minute. Where is it? The uh, MP44 <laughs> prices. Yeah, we're we're good. Like that's coming out. That's the MP44 is literally hitting the shelves right now. What, so what we're good. MP44. Uh, retail US is 440 or 450. Um, Amazon Japan's original posting price was three twenty. So, if this would have been hit, it's less than Unicron. That would have pushed MP forty four well a bit over five hundred bucks. Oh Jesus! And yet, uh, Nate Simmons also this was just announced today too. Is that Bandai said that their their Tamashi Web uh, Mall exclusives will have to be prepaid now as opposed to getting the bill at the time of the uh, product shipping out. Where the local retailers um, in the states would just get billed when it's time for release to send their payment in, but now, now this only applies to the Tamashi, the brown shipper, anything that's released in a brown shipper from Japan, the early Japanese release. That's what this affects. So this is not bluefin. For there now. goes M Bison for street for figure arts. Well, but he'll get a U.S. release. We hope. Yeah, well, Bluefin, if, as far as I know, Bluefin brings the SH Figure Arts guys over because they're not crazy prices when they hit retail over here. It's it's the Star Wars figures, though. For whatever reason, Bluefin doesn't bring over Star Wars. That all gets and, – and the Marvel figures. Like, that's 
or that's because some, of Disney and Hasbro. Yeah, there's that's, some that's kind of different. Hasbro. Yeah, there's some kind of different deal there where those figures are always more expensive than they should be. I mean, I love me some Star Wars figures, but damn, I am not paying U.S. retail prices for those things. One one time I did. I got the the Ray from the last movie, but. That's just because you get a ray. What do you think is going on with that trailer? Man, we're all over the place. Um, this trailer makes me sexually excited. Yeah, yeah. I think so, they're ripping I, off the uh, on, Timothy let's, Zahn novels. Let's let, let, let's stop for a second. A little into talking about uh, uh, Rise of the Skywalker or Rise of Skywalker. Um, if you guys are super spoilery uh, sensitive, we'll be talking about the trailer for a few minutes. So mute us or whatever and we'll like wave our hands when we're done talking about it um but it's just a trailer like i'm not gonna talk about anything that i may have read um but i just want to be respectful anybody and mind you there could be a lot of misdirection in that trailer it's jj so at least some things in there are not what they seem da, 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 da. i will say that when watching the trailer the first time uh, there gets to a part at the end. First off, the music is beautiful. Um, it's remixes and new mixes of existing. Plus, it sounds like some tones towards the end of some different, maybe new themes. I I'm excited. I'm, I'm all around excited about it. Um, towards the end of the trailer, there's a scene where the Resistance fleet, as it were, reverts out of hyperspace. And you see their ships come in and you see a star cruiser come in. And then opposite that, you see a fleet of star destroyers hanging mid-space with like this ethereal stormy background behind it. Do you guys remember seeing that or know what I'm talking about? Yeah, like old yeah. school Star Destroyers. They, you, that, yes. When I first saw the trailer, I thought, oh, look, the, the First Order fleet is massive. <laughs> but like Joe said, when I watched it a second time, I'm like, hold the phone. Those are not Resurgence class Star Destroyers, which are the First Order Star Destroyers. Can you say those that in, look, in a nerdier voice? Those are not. No, that wasn't a nerdy voice. Well, yeah. you, you left out the important part. Well, actually, well, actually, no. I found out that they were they, they look like Imperial Mark II class Star Destroyers. Anyway, a non-Star Wars nerd speak, they weren't First Order Star, Star Destroyers. They were Imperial Era Star Destroyers. Yes. It's a whole fucking fleet of Imperial Era Star Destroyers. Like a that, uh, bigger I, uh, like, you've ever seen. I, I peed myself the first time I saw it and realized that. I peed myself a little right now. It's just all over the place. There's but so I feel many like I'm theories right now. I don't – the theories are – there's no theory that lasts that, is a, that, that really pans out. There's just, there's just not. For every one theory that may be right, there's, there's 100 theories that are crap. And it's JJ, so you can't trust it. I still like the I, my favorite theory is the Sith Trooper one of what the Sith Trooper actually is. Um, go ahead and say it, I guess. Skywalker clones. Okay, and there's precedence for that in the books. Well, so anybody, one, anybody that's read the old, well, I mean, yeah, clones in general, um, but specifically and Skywalker. The hand. Right. And people have measured out the Sith Troopers, and they are shorter than Imperial Stormtroopers. They are literally a little short to be a Stormtrooper. So that could be. But uh, I, that's. I don't know, man. Like, I, I am super excited. Like, I love the last movie, so fight me on that. I loved. Force I'm with Awakens. you. I'm with you. Me? I'm with they, you. I'm with you. Okay. They, they haven't put out a Star Wars movie yet that I've disliked. Um, and even I'll, I'll even say this, like the, the prequels I am coming around on in my old age. I feel like I like them more now than I ever have before. And I don't dislike the like a, a bad Star Wars movie is better than most good movies in my book. So I'm I'm. Happy watching the prequel movies, and I'm happier now than I used to be. But the the new the sequel trilogy is blowing me away, and the 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 individual story, the Solo and Rogue One. Rogue One has quickly become one of my favorite Star Wars movies. Um, yes, this picture is this picture here. If nothing else is going to sell a ton of toys, 
So now do you I'll be guys, right back after is this a um is this a like a uh what do they call it? Like you know when Luke went into the freaking cave and he had that well, dark, that 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 hallucination or that is this like a thing that could be like this is a path that that's should, it could be that that's a great that's or, a great thing could it be is that this an actual like is this her actually uh whether she's legit going to the dark side or maybe she's trying to pull like if she's infiltrating them somehow or is this like a like i've seen some people theorize that this is a clone or a twin all i can say is i really hope there's a time jump <laughs> Like a there major is. time jump. There is. That's confirmed. That's not spoilery. That's been out there for a long time. There is a substantial time jump between the the Last Jedi and this movie. So this image, and, and here's why the modern age can make me sick sometimes. The old, the original trilogy, right, would be the, the scrutiny that the old trilogy would be held to. If it was looked at through a modern lens. Oh God. It's just right. Like if they were, if they put together a trailer for empire strikes back right now, they could have a scene just like this. They could be able to flash in a trailer, an image of Luke's head inside of Darth Vader's helmet and be totally legit and totally from the movie. And yeah. Yeah, you're obviously right. that's not the case. That's I mean it it happens, but it's totally out of context. And I'm not saying that's what's happening here, but it's it's definitely in the realm of possibility of something they would do. So I don't know. In one and part of my brain's thinking like I really hope it's not a misleading picture. I hope there's something that makes sense story wise that's led us to this point that explains that I hope it's not a clone and I hope it's not a force vision or something. It probably will be, but I hope there's some legit reason that we've got her in that, you know, that, that garb with that lightsaber. Cause this isn't just, especially that lightsaber. Like this isn't just a normal, like red bladed lightsaber. This is a very specific dual bladed, like nutcracker weird ass lightsaber that, that obviously is designed to sell toys. Cause they've already got one sold. Believe me. Um, <laughs> but that's like that's for a reason. Like it's not just meant. It's not her meant to be. I don't know. It's very specific to be a vision, some random vision. It's like, hey, uh, I had a vision, and you had this super cool lightsaber, and you were in the dark side. And she's like, oh, that's so weird. Let's go to Jakku or something. And that's that could be a scene. I could write the next movie. And See, I have I more mean, to say, I, but I'm pausing because I don't want to jeopardize everything. So you go ahead. <laughs> Well, I'm just hoping, like, you know, you talk about misleading stuff, and I hate to say this, one of the things that really bugged me, where is it? Do I still have that figure? You know, we had so much stuff that, especially from, I don't want to say toilers, but things that we thought that would be awesome just based on the toys and end up becoming absolutely nothing. Captain Phasma. Um, or the uh, Hulk or the, Hulk. Or even the, um, I mean, it was Star Wars specifically. What were those? The, the Gamorrean guards not the Gamorrean guards but the uh the guys the in the red guard. suits the praetorian no, they, they were in, not the praetorian guard for no go back one more the, the emperor's Royal guard oh. no no oh you mean the knights of ren not the knights not of, no we, remember when they when solo got attacked you know so captured the millennium falcon and then there's these two gangs that attacked yes guys it's really and there those, bad when nerds get alzheimer's and they were well, no, no, because the big deal was there were these guys in the red suit in these red suits, and people were army building them. <laughs> Shades of gray. Ten points. It's gonna be the next. Give some point. points. Yes, Nightwing, them, the enforcers. Absolutely, those enforcers. Dang it! I thought they were the coolest things ever. I thought the figures were the coolest things With ever. I bought like three of them, thing and the they middle, did yeah. jack. I mean, well, every, yeah, that, that happens. That though, much right? more than Constable Zuvio. I think I was just about to bring that up. Is a real thing though, because like the whole like the Hulk in the Infinity War trailer, that was like, yeah, it was a fake scene that they put in a trailer, but it really didn't have any impact on the on the film at all. But this is a 
like if this doesn't actually show up in the movie, you're thank gonna, you, Steve. Guavian enforcers. You're gonna have a bunch of angry nerds like rioting. <laughs> Guavian death gang is that like is that a real yeah. thing? Like, I feel like that's, that's, that's yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They by the way, <laughs> awesome action figures. Absolutely awesome action figures, and they did absolutely yeah. nothing in the movie. But th I mean, that happens though. That comes from storyboarding figure, you know, characters, and then having to send it off to be manufactured before all the details are locked down. That ha that's that's the thing that happens, right? I that's know, why but... that's why SH Figure Arts uh, char Marvel characters and Star Wars characters tend to be so far off the mark because they had to go off some, you know, some. some I know, but I'm just mark. hoping that I'm just hoping they don't. Hasbro doesn't do that to me. I've been burned by black too. Two movies in a row I've been burned by black. And then the Mayfex ones come out two years later. Because I had later, to buy this guy, too. Accurate. But he <laughs> was cool. This... Like, you don't need a big scene out of those. What are you expecting from a friggin' Stormtrooper? Like, they did just what I hoped they would. They well, had this badass scene where they were going to execute somebody. When I saw this you know, guy, when I saw this guy, I was in other fights. Well, we had the Baton Trooper in the last way. movie, right? Or two movies back. Is Dave fading? He's yeah, he's losing connection a little bit, which sucks because I was getting ready to hand off a new topic to him. Dave, are you there? So I'm gonna wave my hands. We're done with the the Star Wars stuff. You can come back, un unmute us. We're 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 back now. Um, I obviously am a huge, huge, huge Star Wars fan. So you, that it's all you got to do is to get me rolling on that, and I can eat up all the time. So I'll stop there. I'm sure we'll have more to talk about once the toys start coming out. But go ahead. Roll us into the next stop. Well, I was going to give this to Dave, but it looks like Dave is um, frozen. Well, so why don't we uh, why don't we switch gears a little bit? Switch gears, and when we get him back, we'll 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 throw it back out there. I'll talk about my toy then, because my toy is better anyway. What's your toy? Well, this little thing went up for pre-order today, and there goes Dave. Your Tesla? No. What did you end up naming your Tesla? I I went with the USS Stargazer. I think it's like really like gay and nerdy, but I, I dig it. I, and that was Dave's idea. So credit to Dave. Credit to Dave. Yeah. He's oh, he's in he's backstage. There we go. He's back. Is he back? He's go back. Ahead, put him in. Carolina anyway. Internet. I'm going to still take over this time slot because the this is the Supreme Knight Batman that went up for pre-order today. They start off with this little teaser image here yesterday saying, oh, hey, by the way, we made this. Give us money. And today we got some new pictures because I guess, you know, I definitely wouldn't want to pre-order something without seeing more pictures. So this is like the next step, I guess, after the Sovereign Knight. This is the old man. Very much inspired by, I guess, Dark Knight Returns in a way. <laughs> but he definitely looks very badass. So this is the third progression, right? Yeah, so you had Ascending Knight, Sovereign Knight, and now Supreme Knight. And then supposedly the next one is Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan God, Supreme God Knight, Sovereign, yeah. Super Knight. Yeah. Fighting against uh, Ultra Instinct Joker. Look at that. When do we just get good night? It depends on how nice you are to your wife. <laughs> you got you to put love in to get love out. And you took a big step today, so. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Like he kind of looks the like the... He kind of looks like that dude that was playing the 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 clone, doesn't he? The guy that also played uh, Aquaman's dad. Wait, what clone? The, the Star Wars clone. The, the Clone uh, Wars. The, the, oh, the, yeah. uh, Django. Django Fett. Yeah. Django Fett. Yeah. Doesn't he kind of look like him? A little bit, but this man does look up. Yeah, you're wrong. Yeah, uh, there you go. I'm, There's I'm all with, the I'm with Nate Simmons. You're getting all the normal stuff you normally get with a Batman. Okay. And Mezco is good for giving you like a, a dozen batarangs, right? Just in case you, uh, you lose one. 
Oh, yeah. Because I actually don't own any Mezco at the moment. So you're missing out. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'm just like Hot Toys. I'm not, I don't have to jump on one, but if one comes out that speaks to me, I, I'm not saying no. Well, what I would, I, you? well, I, I wish I missed the boat for as far as Hot Toys. I missed the boat on the Jen Urso, which is the one I would have gotten the original release of it. Yeah. Uh, for Mezco, I think, what's that? They don't do Star Wars. Mezco, yeah. Thank Which God. Is a big miss. Um, my first Mezco, unless something else comes along that's going to be enticing, my first Mezco is going to be just what Nate said, the uh, 89 Keaton Batman. Yeah. Yep. If Definitely. Mezco, for some reason, made a Battle Angel Alita figure, I would buy that in oh, a heartbeat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have that movie, still need to watch it, but I do own it. So we'll get there. Still need to watch that movie. Reread the manga for a third time this week. Um, I might pick if I can find that on sale. I might pick it up because I would like to read this horse material. See, Sportimus knows what's up. He missed it too, so we're we're twinsies there. Sorry about that, bud. Dave, now's your time to shine. Well, which aspect? There's your here's your uh, master thousand key. toys. I, I mean, well, okay, I'm the only person here who doesn't own a synthetic human. But they're making a Master Chief. That kind of says it all, to be honest. All the low, I mean, I've seen the pictures since the, the synthetic human. I'm sure if T-Man was here, he'd be breaking out his with his pistols in it. Didn't you guys get those from that one sale from uh, FYE? Yeah, I've, I've got one. Uh, if this has anywhere near the articulation as this guy here, then it's going to be amazing. Not just articulation, but they're tight. Dude. So yeah, Solid. that quality. Yeah. So that quality on a master chief, that should pretty much just, that should be the, all the sale sales pitch you need. Yeah. He looks, he looks awesome. I mean, I would imagine it's going to have a little bit less range of movement just because of all that bulky armor. But if they do pretty much all the same, joints then it should be pretty badass now joe i know you like to do a lot of photography like i do imagine having that figure in a bunch of NECA aliens oh yeah <laughs> that should just kind of just just say it all right there or even a neck a versus NECA predator dude if or a thousand toys did a or thousand to thousand toys is the same people who is sentinel who is supposedly the same people that's Flame Toys. So they got, they make a very high quality figure. I can't afford a damn single one of them. And I'm hating for those that do. <laughs> but um, that looks yeah, really awesome. What's the price of a thousand toys normally, like a, a 112 scale? They're pretty pricey, aren't they not? They're anywhere from 65 to 95 bucks. Yeah, ninety five. That's that's a bit high. I mean, they're right up there with a uh, with a Mafex. We got except a, they never had the QC issues. There, Dave, for you. Um, Sportimus, I was using for a lot of my pictures um, a Canon, just one of those point and shoot ones, but I just got a um, Rebel T seven DSLR which I've been using for the last rounds of pictures on my Instagram. So for all the stuff that you saw, like with, uh, with the Baraka and a couple of those before then, that was all with my Canon DSLR. Before that, that was just with an old point and shoot that I had for a couple of years. Still a Canon though. A lot of it all is just getting your lighting Yes, that is correct. That is synthetic slavery. That just derailed it. <laughs> yeah. Now that we've made a slavery uh, joke. Um, so I, <laughs> what uh, another another topic? What? Um, well, I do have a question. Uh, Fan Toys actually just released a bunch of photos and promos for their upcoming releases. Does any of these figures speak to any of you guys? Uh, there was Braun. Um, 
What else did they have? Uh, Braun, it speaks to me, but I'm not crazy about the colors. I'll tell you what. They had a few. I don't care who else they have because it was Braun was the one I wanted to talk about because I am on the verge of pre-ordering this guy. I think he looks so good. He does look great. I just, I'm just not crazy about the colors. I love the alternate face that comes with him, the shouting, the very angry, right, right in line character, Braun. Um, the thing that sucks, though, is that it looks like he doesn't have any ankle. He has pivot, but he doesn't have ankle bend back or forth, you know, forward or backwards. At least it, from the pictures, it doesn't look like it. So, oh, yeah, the Warpath. That's, that's uh, work. St thank you, Sportimus. Braun, Warpath, Beachcomber, and Blur. Blur looks pretty good. Uh, Beachcomber and Blur Braun, I could. Or Warpath, I could. Blur looks good. If you've got Arcros, I don't think you need this one for the Beachcomber. Warpath, yeah, we need a Warpath. Unless X Transbots makes a Warpath, I think you're good. They've been killing it lately too. I'm, I'm, I've been super happy with my two X Transbots purchases of Beachcomber and. Uh... I have to say, I've been a very big naysayer for X Trans bots, and I still am for their larger figures. But for their mini bots, they've been really knocking them out of the park. And that seems to be my wheelhouse with some of these. Is like these mini bots, kind of like I'm not, I'm not paying 150 or 160 bucks per figure. <clears throat> They're still G1 good characters that had some time to shine on the show. So especially Braun was good. Uh, one of my favorite scenes was when uh, Laserbeak ended up. It was. Uh, 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 divide and conquer, I believe, where Laserbeak transformed into his cassette mode and landed on Braun's shoulder, and that's how he infiltrated into Autobot base. And then once Braun walked in, he transformed and then went and hid, you know, before he blasted out uh, Optimus Prime's innards. So hmm. I have a connection to Braun through that. So I'm I might end up pre-ordering him. He looks really good. Um, wait to see. They they went from the metallic gloss finish, like shiny finish, to um. A more matte look, which since I'm matte, I like that a little better. Um, oh, I, f I feel a connection to it. But what about the color? Like if they, he just said he liked the matte. They did a very similar, not like the, the uh, uh, shit. What was the hell's the name of the one they just did where it was like, hey, here's a little bit more purple. Cyclonus. Cyclonus, yes. It was like they, just they like gave him purple. pink thighs. Yeah. Um, but what if they do? Oh, I see where you're going with this. Will they, they do what a 2.0 within a few months of release? And they say, "Oh yeah, here's this one coming out with a little bit better, a like more green, green." I could see that. That's My a enough of a dick move. I could... That's what I'm kind of holding out for. I'll let everyone else get this one, and if they come out with <laughs> one that's a little bit more green, or I push buy this that. one now and then I can sell that one to Winston when they come out with the more green one that I want. Winston, if you're listening, get ready. He's, he was in there earlier. Get oh, that wallet ready. ready. Um, here's the thing with the brawn colors. My memory is not so good that I remember exactly what color he was, you know, at any given point. So I'm fine with it. Um, let me see if I can find a side by side. I'm going to say something I never thought I'd say. I'm actually curious what X-Transbots is going to do. Hey, man, like, like you said, I, the minibots. The, their they're stunicons, cool. they're, still, they're having QC issues with their stunicons. And that actually really hasn't surprised me. But their minibots, I, with, with, with the new stuff, you know, from Toro and up, it's been solid stuff since then. And, I, I mean, I can't believe I'm saying this. I really can't believe I'm endorsing a Keith, a K, a Keith <clears> product. But uh, all right, so there you go. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, you're saying it's it's, it's a little like more a, towards uh, the baby shit green than it is towards exactly. the military green. It is okay. Bit I, I, I see that. Green. It needs and to be more of it. A darker, like solid, like hunter green. It looks like the guy who colored Unicron colored this. I still don't think it's a big. Look at that! Look at this! Almost gold. 
It's made of gold. Now, can you can you find the, the most re they did tweak the color though? So is this a, a comparison with the new figure or is this a comparison with the old uh, release? No, it sounds like you're sprouting lies again. No, I, I do sprout, but it's not where it's was not it lies at this point. posted? Uh, probably, I would imagine, where all of the things go to. You. Oh, just go to the yeah, go to the forum and go to the last page. So, of all the things of the that one time that happened in the show, they give him the drill, but they don't give him a fusion cannon. That was my favorite Braun moment. Or they could give him a smoking, you know, hole in him, like a smoking Too soon. effect when he when he Too soon. <laughs> got blasted. Maybe they maybe they uh, put uh, the pictures uh, on. So there, so there's a much darker shade. Oh, oh look, that's even a comparison picture. Wait a minute. Or did someone fix that? Maybe that's. That, a that looks like a is that a digi bash? Yeah, that's yeah, a probably. Cool. I think. Oh, uh, Mary right. Cool. Go to go to Big Bad. Big Bad. Yeah, Big Bad's gonna have the 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 most recent released uh, promo pics. While you're pulling that up, we can also talk a little bit about the other news that came out today is that MP44 is hitting shelves uh, over in Hong Kong. And there are people that have it in hand right now and are posting pictures to the wide world of Internet. And it looks glorious. Absolutely glorious. Hunk. His name is Hunk, I think. I mean, got his spelling shit wrong. Um, there it is. I, 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 I'm still. Oh, I'm not. I'm not a hater. I'm not a hater yet. Yeah, so I don't think it's as bad as the one that you showed before, but it's not quite right yet, is it? This looks more of a. Uh, yeah, it looks less of the baby shit green, but it looks like it still needs to be bumped up darker. Yeah. Oh look, he's got a fusion cannon. He does, but I don't. I don't it does look with. better than it did. It puts me a little bit more into that. Go ahead and and buy it now. Yeah, that, it's a sub one hundred robot, which is a little bit closer to my. Well, what was realm the price on that? Eighty something, eighty six. Yeah, I believe. Mm. So that that puts it in the realm of a possible like closer to an instant buy for me or some kind of like, you know, Sportimus has a pea green. It's like a, it's like the uh, baby food pea green. And, and they, they try 90 bucks for anything's fans toys is cheap. So there's that to consider. I guess it's also a good entry piece. If you don't own anything's fans toys and you don't want to spend the money on getting aftermarket stuff, maybe this is where you get into it. I, I don't know. I, I'm not a, like, don't get me wrong. I own one fans toys thing and it's grinder. I don't own anything else fan toys. I'm not a fan toys fanboy. I, I like a company that puts out a good product. I don't care about the the background crap, you know, people arguing and what all the craziness. But if you put out something good, X Transbots released some junk before. The two I have are great, so I'm happy with that. But yeah, so MP44 hitting shelves, man. They got pictures. You can go on Instagram, see if you can find some of the pictures of it out of package. Uh, they posted it to the TFW site, too. So um, We're all just playing the waiting game here. Dave, Dave, do you have it on pre-order through uh, – do you, do you have it on pre-order? I, I do not. I, I, it's, you do not. I hate to, I hate to say this, but um, Takara, they've priced me out of the game. Okay. That, and that's fair. It, this, uh, this would be it the one to do honestly, it. They, it has honestly gotten to the point – that I am solidly considering selling my masterpiece collection because so, I know I can't af I can't afford to continue it. So, why would that? That's a good okay. So you've just piqued my interest on something. Why would you consider selling the ones that you already own if you can't get the newer? Not maybe not all of them of the newer releases. Why would that mean that you would need to sell off your existing figures that you enjoy? I wouldn't be able to enjoy them to the fullest. But aren't you now? 
Well, because a, a lot of times people are talking, well, people are rotating figures out. Okay, that's fair. Like, for example, all, since they're now doing all the plus versions of them. Like, so, I could see someone that that's a completist, like Jordan's got to get every numbered release of Masterpiece, and, and I could see if, right. if it get, increasingly becomes more too expensive for him, saying, I can't do this anymore, and I have a bunch of figures that I wasn't of, really interested in. I would say that if you if if you're priced out of this one and you want to get a newer prime when oh, this I'm comes out, out of all you're going to see TE this guy here you're going to see it going up for sale Magic yeah. Square yeah. is a good the trip. last masterpiece figure I per the last masterpiece per piece figure I purchased was Megatron and the last car bot I purchased was Sunstreaker Um, like and, and both of those are like beautiful looking, very articulated figures that are that are solid releases on their own right. They are, but even the Sunstreaker I had to buy at a um, I forgot why I bought, I, I think I got him second hand for 80 bucks because he was so you, an 80 buck figure. Oh, okay, so so I, I, I agree with you there, but then why I, would you then consider selling him if you couldn't continue on with the cast? For that exact, because I'll, I mean, for example, if they ever come out with jazz, I, I won't be able to afford jazz, and jazz is one of my favorites. Sure. Um, it's kind, of, you know, it's gonna be like I've got one, and I will be reminded that I can't get the others. Like Hound, I'm sorry, Hound is not a hundred and thirty five, hundred thirty five, hundred forty dollar figure. True. I, I mean, I've got him on pre order because he's one of my favorite characters. But yes, I agree, he's too expensive. And I mean, I'm not, I don't I, mean to put you on the spot, Dave, and I'm not attacking. Oh no, you. no, I'm no. Just, no. I'm just, I'm just asking your opinion. This is a solid topic because with Tar, yes, while they're redoing their engineering, again, it kind of goes back to you know raising the prices. What with Siege and things like that, if that goes up, I'll probably get out of Siege and sell, you know sell off my chug. Um, you know, I've got figures I'm enjoying right now. Other things that I can put that money into, and other collections that I'm expanding that I could use as real estate for. Okay, so you're saying that you would rather it's it's really a space thing that if you can't devote the space to to get the figures you want, you'd rather utilize that space for something else. Right. I mean, <laughs> okay. How would you feel okay. if you got a okay. you got a Star Wars set? Sit you you got your Star Wars set sitting there. You know, you got your Han Solo, you got your Leia, you've got you got a Luke, but for some reason, Obi Wan Kenobi is like four times as much as the rest. I'm a bad person to ask that because if you look on my Black Series shelf, I have a 3PO and no R2 because I don't care. If, if an R2 comes along that I can get, I'll get one. But I just recently got a Luke, and that's just because he's on clearance. Um, I have partial okay. cast for Solo. I've got partial clone, you know, uh, prequel era cast. Uh, I pick and right. choose. So that doesn't bug me any. You're, you're, you're currently getting the Ginyu Force from a third party. Nope, just the one, and that was for free. Didn't you get Captain getting you? That was the one I got for free. Okay, so you're not getting Jace? You're not getting the others? No. Nope. They look good. Okay. I mean, I just not that. Ginyu is the only one that I would have wanted. I don't need to have them all pose like idiots on my shelf. It would look gotcha. glorious. Don't okay. get me wrong. But, I do. But I no, do. No, no, I mean, it, it looks awesome, and I would definitely do that. But I don't have, the, just like you said, Dave, I don't have the space, and I need to you know, prioritize ones that I care about. All right. What is something that you care about? Give me, give me a line that you care about. You are diehard. My, about. Oh, my wife. I care about my wife. <laughs> Just like you, Dave. I care about my wife. Oh yeah. In case she's listening. Uh, no, but seriously, one that I care like, like just a figure that I care about. Um, grinder. I really like Fan Soy's Grinder. He would be one of the last things I'd ever sell. But do you have the rest of the Dinobots? I don't. That doesn't quite work for me then. I'm talking about like <laughs> combining it. I'm talking about a group here. I'm talking about a group. Um, okay. Uh, hold on. Let me see this. I'm a bad example, man. Cause I don't have complete like DJD from uh, uh, mastermind. I only have two of them and I'm not getting any more and I'm happy with just having the two. Um, the, their uh, uh, make toys is a, uh, Cross dimensions, guys. I only have a few of those. I sold one to Joe, and I'm not getting any more. Well, they're you not making them right now. Seekers. Don't you have all the seekers? 
I did get all the seekers. So that okay. So yes, I have all of the seekers, all of the make toys, Meteor, uh, Sky Crow, and whatever the hell the other one's called. Well, that worked okay. for your. Go ahead. So what if you found out you know you, you got Starscream and you got Thundercracker, but then you found out that the Skywarp version was like two thirds more than any of the others. I would sell Thundercracker and keep Starscream. But it kind of just, but it takes away the fun of having the team. Yeah, it does. You it looks a, better so you, with all three. So you sold Thundercracker because you know you're not going to get the complete team. I am seriously, like, for example, in my masterpiece collection, you know, I've got tracks, I've got Wheeljack, I've got, I've got some characters I really don't care about, but I was building the masterpiece team. I was building the Autobots from them. Okay, I see what you're saying. Like, so you're example, saying I, I could care less. Me, as example, I'm I'm really only care about like season one cast. Okay, May, like I'm I'm still trying to round out the the Autobots. If all of a sudden, you know, this guy comes along and he's four hundred bucks, and that's too steep for me, and I can't get a prime that you would feel like you want to almost like sell off the rest of them because you can't have a full set. But then my argument to that would be, I don't have, I don't, I'm not getting this. I have right now. My prime is the magic square. Prime. Oh, it's not just the prime, but like, for example, like I said, the hound, um, the, yeah, you by doing, you got, you got options out there. Like you can get a, like, especially once, I this, that's gonna... once this, uh, MP hound comes out, like right now you can get a make toys hound gun dog for like, 99 bucks, $89. I'm sure that'll go down. You'll probably get one for what, 75, 60 bucks. And you, from what I hear, both Willis and Gundog were both reviewed fairly well. So they're decent. Yeah, Willis. Figures. I mean, there's options. It's my, G, it's my GCD. Oh my God. Look at this. Breaking news, folks. <laughs> <laughs> no one summons T Man. I tried. I tagged you and everything. <laughs> well, I just I it, it's a, guys. It's, I think it's time. To, it's time to wrap up. It's been a great yeah. show, uh, mm -hmm. Matt. Where can we find you at? T won't care one bit. <laughs> 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 T, T won't care at all. He'll go right back to bed. <laughs> yeah, I've been seeing this picture right here a lot. I don't know what's this going picture on. here scares me. I thought the T transformation scared me. That scares me right there. Why? Uh, well, I'm not going to buy it, but I will definitely break it if I did buy it. Hey, Matt. Can so I you're saying when I bring you mine over, you'll you'll happily break it for me. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. That looks like Magic Square, to be honest. Actually, it looks yeah, I think, well. I thought it, it looks a little closer. Magic Square has a little tiny flap hidden in there. This is like half the whole side of the cab is in his leg. Yeah, and that, but that makes sense though, right? Because it, the, it makes sense, and you got to do what you got to do. I'm just, I'm, I'm afraid. Yeah, break Prime's it. upper body mass didn't fit what the cab was in alt mode, so they had to stick that extra mass somewhere. And he has these big gaping holes in his thighs, so why not? I love a good big gaping hole. Right, mm. especially. Uh, good night, everybody. Especially, <laughs> especially, click, click back a picture. So there, no, the other way. So there, there, no, one more. There's your big gaping hole. There's what uh -oh. you can use right there. Well, that covers up. Right in the forearm. Oh, yeah. I, I know. I'm just, yeah. you said big gaping hole right as you went That's past that picture. That is a hefty screw right there. It is, but it gets covered. So yeah. we're all good. None of, like this all looks pretty you standard. Know, yeah, it looks pretty standard. Nothing crazy. I dig that the matrix chamber is all self enclosed, that it's not Definitely just hanging a lot on. going on. See that black box, I believe, is the matrix chamber. Right here. Yeah. I'm assuming that's going to fold up behind the windshield and be good to go. And it's a fake windshield. We There's already know that. There's a lot of hinging going on here. Yeah, that gives him that ab crunch. Yeah. See, look at it. T said, fuck it all. I'm peacing out. Did he leave already? He gone. Jeez. He gone. He made his appear. He 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 made his appearance. He put his time in. He cashed that check and he rolled out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, team man. We have a new rule. You have to be on the show for at least twenty five percent of the broadcast to get a paycheck. 
Wait, so and then Sportimus, Sportimus says this, which which obviously is true, but this is one of those times, and I you know I don't have a problem with that because you know reality is a thing that these toys have to exist in. So there he is. I'm okay with it not having a G1 yeah, transformation. Do you guys ever care like if something doesn't have a a accurate transformation to the? It's got to have if there's a part of the transformation in the animation that was focused on, like. Prime's arms coming into his side. If if there was a if that's part of its character, then yes, I do care. But the bits and the pieces not related to that, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I've never really I don't had care. any thought. Just give me a toy that looks like the cartoon, but still transforms into the, the vehicle, and I'm good. And both are as accurate as they can be. Yes. This thing has so many innovations like the hips. Like the fact that you can move his leg, but when you put it put it back down, you don't have to fold the hip flap down yourself. I don't know how many times I've complained about that. And now, and now they've actually put away. I'm like, wow, it's like they almost listened to me. And it, it's gonna make fans' toys and everybody else seem so ancient and behind. It, that's the unfortunate part is that once you see some of this, like it, it, it does date old figures like MP10. I remember when MP10 came out, like that was the cream of the crop. Everyone said, this is our definitive Optimus Prime. They're good now. And now look where we are. Hmm. I saw that it could use some improvement. Sure, sure, sure. I'm not saying it was perfect, but I'm saying people were like, we're, we're never going to get anything better. You know, that was the, that was the rub. That was the talk. That was the scuttlebutt when it became you know, Once they came out with Megatron, I knew they could do, <laughs> do it better. Sure. Sure. <laughs> but look at the articulation that MP10 is missing that's pretty prevalent now in modern transforming figures. You know, every, almost every, not every, but a lot of figures now have ab crunches and butterfly joints forward and backwards. And those are kind of standard staples now, you know, even siege has got their, uh, uh, ankle pivots. Yeah. Universal joints, you know, all these, all these innovations that no one thought we, I didn't think we'd ever see mainstream. Like I, whenever we got a figure that had an ab crunch, even if it was by accident was amazing. Like the striker Manus when it came out and had that ridiculous ab crunch because of transformation, but it still counts. And now you're almost getting that standard on figures. And the neck articulation is better too now. Right. So you were you were here. We were talking about it. It's over. It's released. Like it's out. It's on the shelves overseas. Uh, T and I have it pre-ordered through Amazon Japan. So we're just sitting waiting for our email. Hmm. I think it'll. I bet it'll come either tomorrow. I, I think it'll be. I think it's tomorrow night. I think we'll get it tomorrow night. Joe and Star Screamer didn't pre-order. Joe's going to be happy. Star Screamer can't afford it. Yeah, I'm going to. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm going to break Matt's. I've got the TE Prime and the Magic Square Prime, so I'm good. Yeah, yeah, and I've got the Magic Square Prime. And I'm, honestly, if something were to happen that I couldn't order this or couldn't keep my pre-order for this thing, I'd be happy with that. The Magic Square Prime is really good, but I'm locked in on one, so I'm going to be happy to get it. <laughs> I got Iron Man. I'm happy good. with that. What's that, T? I said Magic Square one looks good. That, well, sure. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't, but it's just, I mean, anybody that's bought anything Magic Square knows what the material feels like. Like they use it, it's no secret. Hmm. And Dave's just happy with his super cool Revel Tech Iron Man or Amazing Yamaguchi Iron Man. With with all of the rockets, like all of the rockets that you all can the rockets want. <laughs> everywhere. Yes, Fortimus, I have the metallic version of Magic Square Prime too, by by chance, because a friend of mine drunk and ordered one one night. A really good friend. Yeah, was really really drunk. A very good friend. Oh, you know what? Since we did, you weren't here at the beginning. Um, why don't we get T Man's halls? Oh, no, wait a minute. You actually have to be logged in to the stream at the beginning of the show. Sorry. <laughs> hey, Joe, real quick. Sportimus wants to know, do you recommend the TE Prime? No. 
Um, <laughs> yes, because it's cheap. There he is right there. How about as far as its merits as a figure? Hey, Spartamus. I have it, a review on it. Yeah, look up That's the name. That's true. It's, it's got its quirks, but... Um, I'm pretty sure he wants it already. <laughs> but it's the thing is, it's it's cheap. Like, you could buy T Prime, a Metallic, Magic Square Prime, a regular Magic Square Prime, and let's say, what did they just come out with? They just came out with a Nemesis Magic Square Prime? The black, yeah. yeah right? You could buy all four of those for the price of MP44. The but US you wouldn't Brad. get a, uh, but you wouldn't get a Spiker Carly. You, that's or true. Trailer, you know, or... it is, like these people are getting the uh, MP44 in hand, and guess what? Pictures we're not seeing. We're not seeing any of those extra accessories. We're just seeing Prime. No, we're we've got tons of pictures. The box of accessories, all of the the fi figures oh, out. Box. We're seeing all the accessories. Lies. I have, if I had, yeah, we've seen we've yeah. seen everything. You, I'm sir, are not up to date. What's new with you, team man? What do you got? Um, a bunch of junk. Thanks to GameStop, I bought some trash right here. <laughs> Captain Marvel, Marvel Legends. I also got this um, Elytra. She was just on the ground fighting um, Silver Samurai. Hey, team man. Yes, team man. You know yes. she's Greek, right? Yes, thank you. Three people. Don't she's not Hispanic. Already. She's Greek. I think I tag somebody. I pin someone's comment to the top, and they're not. Nobody's going to read it. They're going to keep telling me. I know. Here's, no, no here's <laughs> I saw their comment first, but I had to do it because it's her me. last name is not Geos, <laughs> for Christ's sake. <laughs> I don't know that man. She's got to be. He thought he, he thought her last name was. He thought her last name was Nachos. Nachos, yeah. There's the, green, <laughs> there's the joke. <laughs> well, Greece isn't that far away from Spain. Was that your haul? Oh, um, I don't know the name of it. I got this Bondi model kit thing. Let me see if I have the receipt in here. So you weren't yeah, taking all that extra time to get ready, I, I take it. All right. I'll just jump through on the street and come in. It's called, um, oh, yeah, the 30-minute missions, Alto White. So y'all be saying that because at the hang up from this, I'm going to start putting that together. Wait, you're doing models now? Yeah, a little bit. Do you know any that you could... If I did, my and wife you, would track her ass down and kick thank, her ass. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> your wife, the list of people that your wife has to be violent towards is growing steadily. Like, you don't know my wife. She She's going to go full John Wick on people, and, and it's going to be your fault. Like People are going to die. No, she's not going to go John gonna, Wick. She's going to go Megan Lutwack on him. She gonna, okay, she's going to go Megan Lutwack on him. John Wick will cower in fear. If John Wick <laughs> hit on me, he need to run. That's all I can say. He might. I mean, that would be an excellent adventure for him. I'm saying that for the record, my wife is that badass. She's gorgeous. She's beautiful. I'm married to freaking Wonder Woman, and she will kick. <laughs> <laughs> that would be. And as you one. said, she'll be watching this later. So. <laughs> <laughs> But um, I don't know. John Wick would pull out a pencil. She pulls out a paper clip and he runs. <laughs> are we gonna Are we gonna knock it out there? Is that Is that the end of it? Are we uh, yeah. anything else? Uh, yes, T, yeah. did you Did you come prepared with any topics for us to uh, to? Uh, oh, uh, um, about? you know, of course, GameStop did it again with uh, STCC exclusives. Oh uh, yeah, the turtle. We knew that was gonna happen, right? Oh, we did call it. Yeah. Are we talking and about the, the and it's exactly the place we called it too. It's having less less of the props, not having the oh. weapons rack. Eh, I don't need that. In fact, I didn't even use Solo Chigokin Voltron's weapons rack. 
I was making fun of Ruben in a syndicate chat because he's going to put, um, I called it. And I was like, everybody called it. What the, who didn't know they weren't coming Hey, out? speaking of yeah. Solo to and Voltron, when does um, Vehicle Voltron come out? December. Okay, good. So we actually have some time to recover from from TFCon. Well, not all, but yeah, but December is the worst possible time. Like, at least for me. I mean, Christmas being a thing that we celebrate. So, what you trying I mean, to say? I, I, I canceled. I canceled the pre order, so I'm not getting it anyway. But I think for okay. a lot of people, the Christmas is a bad time as well. Which also, too, that's a good point for the Unicron. They pushed the Unicron back to the end of October, if I'm if I've got the math even close to being right, which is right around the time people are going to be spending money on TFCon. Christmas should be easy for you. Your son, you could just buy him anything from, from Ross. <laughs> they, they really should have waited till like tax season to put out that Unicron. That's true. Right. It uh, already so should have came out at the beginning of this year. Pissed me off. And actually, MP44 was pushed back a week. We'd all be sitting here talking about it with it in hand if it had come out its original release date. Could be worse. They could be Mezco. It could be. Ooh. You're right. <laughs> but Mezco is the only only ones that could get away with that, I feel like. Everyone else would get called out on it. Mezco is just kind of like set themselves up. Mayfex gets away with it pretty well. well. Right, but the same kind of thing. Like You know their release date plus at least two months or more. Probably a lot more. Mm-hmm. But in the end, Mafex is able to get out more accurate figures than like SH Figure Arts that, that gets them out immediately. You know? mm-hmm. like, like that freaking yeah. Infinity War Thor coming out. Right. And uh, it's like Sportum has said, said the, uh, uh, Omega Supreme has been delayed till October. The Siege Omega. <laughs> so things happen. Infinity by Omega War Supreme, by Unicron. Well, I uh, don't have the topics list up, but is that are we uh, are we at a natural stopping point? I think we hit everything. Okay. Unless, unless <laughs> Team how good is Lee? And and has been a fan of of toys. How how great is Lee? <laughs> we did have one more thing on the topic list that actually is right in line with what we're talking about, and I know T's uh, excited about it too. I imagine most of you guys are. Is the Peter B. Parker Mayfex figure? Oh, How good yes. does that look? How good does that good. thing look? And like they're even able to pull off some some aspect of a pot belly. I don't know if it's the way they have him like you know bent backwards or something, but when he's got his sweats on, it looks a little chubbier than it does when he's. There you go. That thing is he's brilliant, like, yeah. looking, man. No, his midsection is wide and round like as a yeah. big word, Captain Marvel. <laughs> but, and the a sheer amount of accessories that come with this guy that makes sense is awesome. Whoever thought you were going to get a Spider-Man that's got two mismatched shoes? <laughs> and then completely removable bottom uh, lower legs that can swap swap out with skin tone. Oh, yeah. I just, and right on top there. of that, and it looks like a good Spider-Man figure. Look, look, there's a little pop belly. There's a cup of coffee. This is a Spider-Man that even if you never saw Spider-Verse, like, why would you not want a Spider-Man look on your shelf? Look at that gut. Look at that gut. That is a yeah. dad gut if, if I, I saw I like how one. his head completely – whoa, what's going on now? Um, I like how his head completely changes shape when he puts the mask on. <laughs> yeah, from the uh, long chin. Yeah. And these, this, the upper right scowling face is my absolute favorite Spider-Man face I've ever seen. I love that. That picture of him swinging looks just like the, the artwork in the movie. Like, I would be more excited to get this than the Miles Morales. Well, and the, even, and the Miles looks, Morales that, looks good. Yes, oh, that's what God, I was going to say. That Miles looks awesome. Now, they are charging 100 bucks a pop for these things. I think he's a little bit more than Miles. Miles well, is yeah. 70, I think. He's is 100. He? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't that's realize the, Miles was that much cheaper. This is the picture I was talking about. That looks just like the artwork with their skinny legs. The way the feet, the way the knee down to the, the, the toes come to a point. If they like make sharp angles, a, yeah. 
if Mafex makes a Spider Gwen in this line, I'm gonna have to. Re- I'll, I'll retire my Revel Tech. Everybody's going to. <laughs> yeah, I might have to pick this one up, man. This is like, it looks good. I love that movie. Speaks to me. You know, it's, it did its job. I don't know. Anyway, that's. I thought we'd bring that up, but we we can wrap now. Bye. T has a YouTube channel. You're probably all very aware of. Uh, Dave yeah. has an Instagram. If he wants to put it out there. True Star Screamer. At True Star Screamer on Instagram. Uh, Joe has a cheap T-shirt factory in China that he's going to be producing our T-shirts uh, at a minimal cost due to the child labor uh, he will be uh, implementing. Except for the tariff, and- I have to charge extra once these tariffs hit. Yeah, there's a hundred and twenty percent markup because of the tariffs, uh, but it's not our fault. Mm. Pay it anyway. Um, so Dave just jumped out. I think we're going to jump out. So everybody, thank you very much for joining us. I'm Matt Parts, former, uh, bringing you another episode of Figure Action. We hope you guys enjoy yourselves. We enjoy doing it. T's had his best episode ever. He woke up ready to go, and he is now signing off, all within the span of about eight and a half minutes. And he is ha- he is loving life. So. Yeah. Thank you, everybody, for coming out. Um, We appreciate it. We'll see you next week. Uh, Peace. See you. (laughs) My eyes are.